Greetings, skin bags. It is I, the Mechanist, and in this video, I am going to be showcasing pretty much every robot that you can find in the new Automatron DLC. So without further ado, let's jump right into that shit. Firstly, I will be showing you the Assaulttron variants. Let's start down here, shall we? We have the Assaulttron dummy voice bot, which is nothing but a hunk of metal floating in the air. Next, we have the Assaulttron Gorgon, which is probably the most badass looking of them all, with two shish kebab arms, spiky wings on its back, and a human skull as a face. Over here, we have the Assaulttron Hag, with a radiation gun for an arm and a shish kebab, and has a barrel on its back, a couple of spikes on its shoulder. Next, we have the Assaulttron Demon, with some yellow clippers for hands, spikes on its back and it has the red blaster on its face and over here it's pretty much the same thing with the Assaulttron Devil only difference is the head we come over here we have the Assaulttron Succubus that has a flamer for an arm and a massive saw for its other arm with spikes on its back and a human skull for a mask then finally we have your average run-in-the-mill Assaulttron with a missing left arm and a proton blaster for its other arm. Next are the SentryBot variants. Firstly we have the SentryBot dummy voice bot. Then we have your average run-in-the-mill SentryBot with the aqua blue paint job. Next we have the SentryBot Lament which has a poor little sad face. Then after that we have the SentryBot Ripper which is pretty much the same exact thing as the Lament, only difference is, is the head, as you can see. Next we have the Audio Template SentryBot, which is big and bulky and very terrifying. After that we have the SentryBot Carnage with spikes coming out of its head, two Gamma Guns for arms, and that's pretty much it. After that we have the SentryBot Butcher with a longhorn skull for a head, a fire hose for an arm, and a Gatlin flamethrower for another arm. And then finally we have the SentryBot Ripper which is pretty much the same as the Butcher, only difference is it's the head. And it looks like it either has rocket launchers on its back or maybe that's some type of jetpack don't really know. Next we have the Robobrain variants. <clears throat> Firstly is this one. It's just an average Robobrain without an actual brain. Next we have this big bulky some bitch, the Cybermech Robobrain. And look at it. It's got like a little blue eyeball. That is so creepy. And then it's got a laser Gatlin gun and a little claw. And over here we got the Quantum Robo Brain. Look at this bad boy. He's got a Tesla rifle for an arm. And he's all like electrified. You don't want to touch him. Cause he's gonna get electromacuted. Over here we got the legendary Robo Brain. Then we have the legendary Servo Mech Robo Brain, which pretty much looks exactly the same. It's a legendary Robo Brain itself. Next, we have the legendary integrated Robo Brain, which has a chest piece on it, because as you can see, both of these do not have chest pieces. This one does. Next, we have the legendary Cybermech Robo Brain, which is the legendary version of that one right over there. Then, we have the legendary Quantum Robo Brain which is the electromacuted one. Next we have the Servo Mech Robo Brain. Then we have the Cyber Mech Robo Brain. And finally, the Integrated Robo Brain. All right, next is the Mr. Handy variants. Firstly, we got the Mr. Handy Annihilator. He's all spiked up and ready for action. After that, we got the Mr. Handy War Machine. Looks pretty badass. 
Then after that, we got the legendary Mr. Handy War Machine. Over here, we got the average Mr. Handy Destroyer. Then over here, we have the legendary Mr. Handy Annihilator. Then we have the legendary Mr. Handy Destroyer. Then we have the legendary Mr. Handy Wrecker. Then we have Mr. Handy Wrecker. Then we have Mr. Handy Dominator. And finally, the legendary Mr. Handy Dominator. So there you go. Next, we're going to have a look at the Protectron variants. Firstly, we have the Protectron Devil. Nextly, we have the Scourge. Next, we have the Legendary Protectron. After that, we have the Legendary Doom Protectron with the horns. Then we have the Legendary Protectron Scourge. Then we have your average Doom Protectron. Then we have the Legendary Protectron Golem. Then we have the Legendary Protectron Basilisk. Then we have the Average Protectron Basilisk, which looks like he's wearing the Sauron helmet from Lord of the Rings. And speaking of Lord of the Rings, here goes the Protectron Golem. So it looks like the devs are definitely a fan of Lord of the Rings because you have this Protectron named Golem and this Protectron who looks like he's wearing the same helmet as Sauron from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Cool. Well, there you have it, skin bags. That is the end of my robot showcase for the Automatron DLC. I hope you enjoyed it. But if not, fuck you fucking fucks. I'm out. <laughs> Meow.